Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Yes, it's your Gani Muras kama kawaida with another interesting video. And today we are heading to City Center kama kawaida. Yes, because City Center is my I think these days City Center is my hood. Huh? Yeah, it's my hood for meeting people then after I think it's there. It's like you know when you're in Kenya, in Kenya is uh, where we mostly meet is Afia Center. So to me, if you want to meet me, the first place or the first point is City Center. And by the way, look at the road, the way they are decorated because of the World Cup. I'm going to show you some of the things that you are going to find on your way to City Center Doha. Yes, we are going to read there and I will show you some, there are some balls. Huh? It's like a ball, ballish things. Yes, I think we are almost there. Yes, just look at the further end. Yeah, those are balls of the countries that have qualified. I think the countries, those are the flags of the country that are qualified to 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 play the World Cup. And now the streets, the streets look like this. And in the evening, they are they are they are lighting up. Um, in the evening, they are very beautiful because they are they are glowing. Is it glowing? Yeah, they are glowing. So I wish I'll get a chance to go back in the evening and I show you how they look like at night. But if I won't, they'll still they'll, they'll always still be uh, another another time. So today we are heading to city center for some shopping and. Remember, it's Ramadan. It's Ramadan. Just look, the balls are everywhere. The, the any the decors that look like a ball, they are everywhere. Just look. I I don't know. I can't tell you the exact flags, the name of the flags, but yes, you just guess by yourself. So today I'm heading to city center, and as you all know, it's during Ramadan. So during Ramadan, you there are some things that you are not supposed to do yeah there are some things that you are not supposed to do like you can't eat publicly you can't drink water publicly you can't uh smoke publicly you can't uh take pictures you can't any yani there are so many things that you are not supposed to do during ramadan and uh as you all know we are not not everyone not, not everybody is fasting so we are on a, we are heading to city center entry mall as we are heading to the city center mall entry so that at least I got. So, um, right now it's, I'm in city center, in Dania city center. I'm somewhere up there. So I was, as I was telling you, there are some things that you are not supposed to do. Yeah, you are not supposed to, to do. And also there are some clothes that you are not supposed to dress during Ramadan. Like you are not supposed to dress those short, short things because there are some places you may go and they won't allow you to get inside. So, as a foreigner, you we always follow the rules and we all respect uh, we always respect their religion. So this is these are some of the settings of uh, city center inside city center. Look at those seats. Um, you can just relax. You can just sit down and relax there. Yeah, these are this is. Uh, I'm just showing you around. Yeah, this is a pitch. Uh, it's called uh, uh, what? It's called a pitch. I'll show you. I'll show you what it does because there's a video I'm taking. So. Uh, here I'm going to the shopping. I'm going to shop. Yeah, I'm going to shop a little as I wait as I wait for as I wait for somebody. So I'm after I'm done shopping, I'm heading now to another destination where out I, I don't know if I will tell you or I may not I may tell you or my, I may not tell you, but I'm feeling hungry. I'm feeling hungry. So this is what I'm going to do. Ha! Huh. Ooh, we are not supposed to eat in public, but I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I'm so hungry. So that is Konich. Yeah, that side is Konich. Yeah, you can just uh, there's some construction going on, so you can't be able to view well. So uh, I'm going to do something. And guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna show you what I do. Uh, what I'm doing this time of Ramadan. I have to carry myself some food. As in, I have to carry some something because for sure me, I can't be able to fast the whole day. So, uh, in this video, I'm just trying to show you how I'm surviving during my day off. 
yes how i'm surviving during my day off in this ramadan where you can't eat outside you can't drink outside you can't do anything outside so anytime you get into a taxi you take advantage yeah you have to take advantage of the taxi <laughs> and drink eat as fast as possible yes you have to eat as fast as possible so that at least by the time you reach your destination you are going to you, you will have finished your food so guys stay tuned and continue let's continue as you see what i have carried for myself hmm? yes because i have carried for myself something yeah <laughs> man say you are feeling you're just feeling hungry yes you can buy you can buy but you cannot eat publicly then you can also do you can also you can shop like food you can buy food but you can't eat and also the where they they, they sell food most of the restaurants are closed unless it's the river so guys come here and start eating with me yes first i always carry an orange yes i always carry an orange because you know orange is easy to eat some juices yeah some juices so i have to eat as fast as possible <laughs> Yes, I have to eat as fast as possible. Thank you to the my cameraman. <laughs> my cameraman was just in, was, was just laughing at me cuz for him he had eaten. Yeah, he had eaten. So the next one is still an orange. I had two oranges. Yeah, I had three. I think I had three. Then one I gave it to the driver. Yeah, so you see, I had I had another one. I have to, I have to eat. I have to eat eat and eat and eat and eat until i'm satisfied because when you go outside when you're outside you won't be able to eat no eating you can't eat unless i don't know you can't eat you can't drink water and it's very hot by the way it's very hot right now not like not like any other days or not like any uh during the cold time it's very very hot now it we are in summer our summer is starting so i have to lazima ujipange lazima ujipange so i'm almost with i'm almost with my orange now next <laughs> my next my next next yes juice <laughs> ah, it's eating as fast as possible you have to eat as fast as possible <laughs> You eat and drink as fast as possible before you are out of the car because you know when you because when you are in the car is the only place that you can eat that's the only place you can you be able to eat during this time of Ramadan still I have some biscuits and I'm still going to eat all of them yani hapa ni kuharakishana na mdomo unaharakishana na mdomo kuharakishana jo eish Yes, you have to hurry up as you eat so that you won't reach your destination before you finish. So I have to eat my biscuit, I have to eat my oranges, I have to drink my you know my juice so that at least by the time I'm getting to where I was going, I will be satisfied. So guys, this is how we are surviving. This is how we are surviving during this Ramadan time. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Please if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you subscribe, like the video and tell us how are you surviving during this Ramadan. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for so much for Thank you so much for watching. Let's meet in the next video. Bye bye. Toodles. <laughs>